I'm not gonna lie. Everything looks about the same since the last time we played. However, when I did go to start my game up, my save game file was corrupted and would not let me play. So I had to start over. Hey man, y'all see what the f going on? It's your boy Peej. We back at it today. We're playing Pharmacy Simulator, episode number two. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, turn on bell notifications. That way, anytime I upload a video, you guys will be notified. To all my returning subscribers, welcome back. So glad to see you guys. One more thing before we get started: if you guys are interested in joining my new Discord server, go check the description down below. There's gonna be a link for it. All you gotta do is click the link. It'll redirect you to Discord. You click join, and then you'll be in. But other than that we're gonna jump right into it so sit back relax and enjoy the video so guys i'm not gonna lie everything looks about the same since the last time we played however when i did go to start my game up my save game file was corrupted and would not let me play so i had to start over but we're basically back to where we were i painted the walls the same color we got to do the ceiling still same tiles on the floor so basically like i said back to where we were we'll go to the register make sure we open this until then i'm gonna work on painting the ceiling some more So it looks like we got to get more paint to finish the ceiling. For now, we're going to go ahead and start taking some of these customers. All right, we made it up to $707. So what I think I want to do is buy two more shelves, pay $300 for that. There's two more shelves added. So right now, we only have the non-prescription medicines, and that's 16 total. So we're going to need 16 shelves to have the medicine on each individual shelf. Currently, we have seven. We need nine more eventually. But this way, we can start migrating some of these medicines to one shelf at a time. I'm going to go back to taking care of some more of these customers, and I'll see you guys once I'm done with that. So we just hit level 10, so we have $500 prize money, a vitamin stand, or vitamin license, and vitamins that we can buy now. We'll definitely be looking into that shortly. We will close the counter, also close the pharmacy. So something I want to do, we're going to go back to the store, and we're going to go back down to the lights. We're going to order two more of these. Alright, so I added the two middle lights, brighten it up a little bit more in here. I think I want to buy one more bucket of paint to finish off the ceiling. I feel like we still need some lights down the middle at some point, but with the new set that we added, it does make it a lot brighter in here. Also, what I started doing, I moved these shelves all the way down to the end, so you guys can see I started working on the first three shelves. I individually have each of the medicines on their own shelves, so from here on out, whatever I'm going to run out of over here, we'll just use up the rest of these, and as we go, we'll move the shelves down, and then just continue the process of filling each shelf up one by one with all the medicine. Now that we have the shelf freed up, I'm going to move this down to where our other shelves are and i'm gonna try to keep all the medicines in line if possible basically in alphabetical order all right we have our fourth shelf started so we'll take care of a couple more customers and then we'll end the night there's our last customer for the night taken care of. We'll make sure we close our sign. So we're going to hit escape to move on to the next day. So end of day report. Income was 1974 Expenses 38 35 53 You guys can read all the other things underneath that. At the end, our profit, we were down $1,861.53. So we will go ahead and move on to the next day. So right off the bat, we can open up. All right, I reorganized some of these medicines a little bit, so now we have shelf number five to add down here. All right, so we just hit level 12. Looks like we unlocked the supplement license, supplement stand, and supplements themselves. We'll get to that eventually. All right, next one installed. We'll grab the medicine to go with it. That one is stocked up. Level 13 looks like we just unlocked a lot of different Derma Cosmetic products. You guys can see they're all listed at the bottom. All right, we are approaching the end of our second day. We'll take this last customer. 
All right, we are closed for the night, so we're gonna hit escape to move on to the next day. Our income was $1,013, expenses were $1,129.98. So right now we do have a debt that we're paying. I had to take out a loan in game to get us to where we are a lot quicker. We'll go to the computer. You guys can see there's this bank application, so we'll click on that. On the left-hand side, you guys can put in the amount you want for the loan and how long for it to take, and then it'll tell you all the interest percent and all that stuff. On the right-hand side, when you have a loan, it'll tell you, you guys can see my balance, how much I currently have. The remaining loan debt, which is $353.33. Originally was a thousand, but after it's all said and done, total payments can be one thousand sixty. So we just have one more day left, then we don't have to worry about it anymore. But we'll open up shop level 14. We unlock personal care products. Once again, you guys can see at the bottom all the different things that we've unlocked. Okay, we just got another shelf. We'll go add this to the collection. Just like that, new shelf stock. One step closer to getting all the shelves filled up. Level 15 unlocked. We have $1,000 new cash register, and we can also recruit new workers. So since we just got $1,000 for that, I think what I want to do, we'll go to e-exam, and then we're going to buy our vitamin license for $500. You guys can see the next one's for $750. That's what we're going to be working on next. Still trying to work on these shelves as well. So we'll go back to the store, and then we will go purchase two shelves. Put this one right there, and then put the next one right there. All right, we got our two new shelves stocked. We're getting that much closer to getting all of our medicines on individual shelves. I think we're going to go ahead and order one more shelf. We'll fill in the space right here. All right, so we got everything moved off of this shelf. We can move this over with this, and then we'll check with the next one that we need. Here is our last customer for the night. We'll press escape to move on to the next day. So our income is $2,109. Expenses were $1,661. This was our final day for a debt that we needed for a loan. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. So we'll click move on to next day. We have enough for another shelf. We'll go to the store, buy one of those. We're going to move this shelf over to make room for a new one. We got our next shelf finished. Level 16. Looks like we just unlocked some more medical products. All right, so we have enough money to actually order two more shelves. Stick that one right there, and we will move this one down over here. We'll grab our other shelf, take it out of the box, stick it next to this one. We actually only need one more shelf to fill this space in. We'll take care of some more customers, and then we'll see if we can make that mark to get that last shelf before the day ends. All right, guys, there's our mark right there. Add this shelf to our cart, pay for it. There's no way this doesn't let us put it right here, right? There's actually no way. That's crazy. What the hell? All right, I guess we'll put this over here for right now. Transfer these over to the shelf. I swear, if we can't make this fit, that's going to be super disappointing. I literally put in so much work to get to this point. There we have all of our shelves. Each individual shelf holds a medicine. We're going to have to tear down this wall at some point, but I think we have to buy the property next door before we can do that. How much is this going for? So we need a deposit of seventeen fifty, and then a rent's be 75 for that all right this is going to be our last customer for the night so yeah guys we put in a lot of work this episode we got all of our shelves put in next episode we're definitely gonna have to work on stocking up all the shelves so they're completely full and then also i want to start working on getting to the vitamins and the other stuff that we have but yeah guys that's going to do it for today's episode i hope you guys enjoyed watching me play this if you did make sure you leave a like down below also leave a comment don't forget go hit my description and hit the link to go join my discord server anybody can join there's no restrictions to it so if it's something you you're looking to get into feel free to do so other than that guys that's gonna do it thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one yo what is up with these people sliding damn that dude's pissed he's so mad he can't even walk he just has to slide and apparently he can't make it around the fence you okay my guy you having a mental breakdown man standing out there by the fence talking about oh can i get a refund looking at oh my gosh guys look at this this is actually insane i cannot believe we were playing Nocturne Toten on a literal web browser page. This is actually nuts. And the map, it looks good too. The movement, it's pretty smooth. 
It's kind of a little buggy here and there, but I mean, what do you expect? It's literally from a web browser. Like, come on now. Exactly. Go down to that hole. Yeah, go down to that <laughs> hole. That's promising. <laughs> I ain't going down shit. Come on, bro. We'll take a dirt nap. <laughs> You tripping, folks? Where is this shit at? Oh, oh my god! Don't go, Don't go in the Finally, cave! Someone agrees with Don't me. What's going on in the cave? Don't go in the cave. Go in the cave if you want to die. That's all I got to say. Bro, what? Oh! 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 No! Bruh. What? They literally folded my shit, bruh. Come on.